are diving into four simple cycle fixes that deliver stellar results. Hi guys and welcome. We are diving into four simple cycle fixes that deliver stellar results. So if you took our smoothie challenge that we did for the month of January, you notice that all of those recipes helped basically build on your cycle phases. So that is how our bodies work. Like that's how a woman's body is designed. Like we have to show up week after week after week supporting our bodies to be able to then get the results that we want. So I know some women don't like hearing that. They're really into like quick fixes um, that they can only stick to for a while. And as you're learning here, like hormonal health is a lifestyle. It is something you commit to, which is why this hub and, you know, Balanced Bombshells is all about doing this because high performing women love this stuff. Like we are obsessed with improving ourselves, improving our lives to be able to get what we want. And once we know how to do that, there's no stopping us, right? Like there's nothing that's going to be standing in your way. And so sometimes, yeah, our cycle stuff can stand in the way of feeling and looking the way that we want, having that energy, having that, um, those mental thoughts that we want, like everything comes down to how we're treating our bodies. So what I loved about doing that smoothie challenge with you guys is how quickly some of you noticed a, a decrease in some of your symptoms. Like it really can work within one cycle in terms of alleviating things to a slight extent. So some of you, a lot of you noticed slight improvement on um, a part of your cycle. Um, other, so what will happen is if you continue doing this work, this type of work and really supporting your body the way that you need to week after week, month after month, you're going to start noticing that your body takes on like this whole new, like it's, you basically are going to operate a higher playing field in life. And you're just going to notice that these symptoms no longer get in your way. You're no longer feeling the same way. You're no longer having the same physical symptoms. Your period is easier. It's shorter. It's happier. You're feeling calmer. Like literally this is possible. I know we haven't heard this much in our life, but this is absolutely possible. So I want to be able to dive in today on four simple fixes that you can be using week to week and um, how that can be like making the changes that you want to see in your body. So these are also um, tips that I have from our cycling guide and journal book. So um, I am this week selling our Sync Your Life collection, which includes this guide, and I'll get a little bit deeper into that. So if you're like, wow, I really like these tips, I want more of them, it, it's like jam-packed in our cycling guide and journal book. It gives you my four cheat sheets that dive into each of your cycle phases so that you are continuing to build and make these changes week after week, so you're getting the results that you want. So the first one is I'm going to start in your menstrual phase. So we all know your period, the day your period starts is the day your cycle begins. So your menstrual week is your first cycle phase. So in here, I know like a lot of us will want to eat well and we'll want to do like raw smoothies. We'll want to do raw salads, you know, like we're just used to that because it can be so easy. Um, but our body is actually craving warm foods during this week. So if you can focus on, sometimes I heat up my smoothies, <laughs> like I literally will put them in the microwave for a little bit just to warm it up so it's not so ice cold to my stomach. So what happens here is what you're, when your body's having warm foods during your period, you're actually warming the blood and you're promoting more blood flow and circulation to your uterus, which when we have a lot of blood flow in this area of our body, it relaxes a lot of those aggression feelings. It alleviates a lot of the, the pain from menstrual cramps and you actually are calming down the, the uterus basically just by promoting more blood flow. Um, so from our smoothie challenge, like you notice I added beets to a smoothie because beets are really good at promoting blood flow and promoting that circulation. Um, it's something that's used with endurance athletes to be able to actually help them recover faster. So like the fact that we can also use that for our period, like I think we should be talking a lot more about that and how we can be using food so strategically. Um, so a lot of women notice a huge change just by adding beets in, which is awesome. So a little trick that I do here, um, we're certainly talking about warming foods, but a little trick that I do is if I want to avoid menstrual cramps, I actually start doing the beet smoothie at least three days before my period. And that helps actually get the flow flowing before my period even starts. So you can totally take that hack. You can try it out and let me know how it goes. Um, but by eating warming foods, so like making soups, 
um, making stews, like this is the best time of month to take out that crock pot and just eat like really warm, comforting foods that make you feel really grounded. That's really gonna warm your blood and get more blood circulation. And then the second part to this is to eat little to no sugar. I know a lot of women get annoyed with this, like they, especially because this is when women will crave it the most. Like I totally get it, I've been there. But what happens is excess sugar aggravates our hormone symptoms. So we all know that moodiness we all know that bloated feeling we all know just feeling like stuck and less than within our within ourselves and sugar is actually a huge culprit for this so i definitely challenge myself on eating little to no sugar um so it's this is not saying that you can't eat sugar in your life i'm just saying be strategic during your menstrual week and just be ask yourself like is this treat serving me or can i reconfigure this in a new way where i feel like i can still indulge but i'm not having the excess sugar and basically aggravating my body like that's what it's creating more inflammation and a lot of our period problems stem from increased inflammation so if we can calm down our body internally we calm down ourselves like it is amazing so what i've done is I still obviously will want a little sugar. I like that sweet flavor. Like we all like salty things. We all like, you know, the taste of fatty foods. We all love sugar, but how can we make it work for us? So I would challenge myself on using fruit as a treat. So like one to two pieces of fruit a day that would help give me that sweetness that I would want. And I would really pay close attention to when I wanted something sweet. So maybe it was like first thing in the morning. I actually don't always like savory breakfasts. I actually like more sweet ones. Um, and after lunch is when I was really craving something or even like after dinner so you can have like a few berries or something so you're still getting that sweet flavor so I use fruit for that so not only am I getting a lot of the vitamins minerals a lot of antioxidants to like help support my body but I'm hydrating so like fruit is has a lot of water content and we can actually get a little dehydrated during our period so this is actually a really great way to naturally hydrate your body um, you know you're losing a lot of fluid that week like it is what it is and we just have to be able to make sure that we're replenishing it um, and then I will also have like one to two squares of really dark chocolate so dark chocolate is high in magnesium which is very calming mineral so we talked about magnesium in this group before um, if not you can go back and watch that video about the number one supplement I always tell women they should look into because magnesium is really calming and so yes this is absolute permission to eat some dark chocolate during a period like there's a reason why we're craving it we want that mag magnesium and it calms us and it makes us feel so good so I really focus on dark chocolate like 85% or higher is what I look for um, the reason being it has um, less sugar in it and it also has more protein and higher fiber which is actually going to help keep your blood sugar more stable so that you're not feeling even more anxious you're not like anytime we're crashing our blood sugar our body perceives that as a threat so we really want to make sure that we're keeping our bodies really balanced and blood sugar is all hormonal based so just making sure that we're calming that down so that is your simple fix in your menstrual phase is to focus on warming foods and yes you can absolutely ditch the salads this week and not feel like you have to eat them and that's the only way you're going to be healthy you can absolutely make other things that are warm and comforting and then eat little to no sugar and like that is like step number one for your menstrual phase something super simple that you can get started with so then the week after your period ends is your follicular phase so during this week i start eating liver cleansing foods so what this means is during this week our hormone levels start to increase so it can actually cause an overload to our body and our digestive system if like those hormones are not exiting the body the way that they're supposed to and everything gets funneled through our liver which is our detox organ so i start focusing on eating liver cleansing foods before my um, hormone levels peak. So if I can do that before, I'm basically supporting my body all week long to be able to naturally detox the way that it would need to. So then I'm having, I'm not having the same kind of symptoms. So a lot, a lot of women by ovulation can feel a little bit more tired, even though we're supposed to feel really energetic. They can feel a little bit more bloated, even though like technically we're not supposed to. So all these things are definitely like hormones just kind of like getting stuck within our body. So we really want to help naturally detox. So I focus on drinking um, water with lemon. So maybe I'll wake up and do some more warm water with lemon or all during the day, I'll kind of like put lemon in, the, in my water. Um, lemon's really cleansing for the liver. I'll add um, a tablespoon or two of flaxseed into a smoothie. Um, that also helps really cleanse your body. 
um, I'll make, if I'm going to make a salad at lunch during the follicular phase, I will add dandelion greens, which are also really good for detoxing the liver. I can't say I really like dandelion greens. They taste a little bit more bitter, but I'm all about naturally supporting my body. So I will often cringe and just work through it. I can't say that I've added dandelion greens to a smoothie because I think it would be a little too much, like especially if you're adding like fruit or something, like it just kind of takes away the whole experience. But adding it to a salad, I don't, I don't hate it as much. <laughs> so like, I'll just, it's fine. Um, and then at dinner or something, I will make kale or broccoli or Brussels sprouts. And those are cruciferous vegetables that are also really cleansing for your body. Um, so those are the food fixes that I focus on during the follicular phase by starting to eat those liver cleansing foods. And then by ovulation, so not everybody likes this either, but I feel like it's worth saying, I personally avoid alcohol during my ovulation phase. And the reason why, and this might not be you, if you do not have any sort of issues with excess estrogen in your body, not everybody has this hormonal balance like I do, you can still drink alcohol and probably not have the same symptoms that I would. So if I drink alcohol during my ovulation phase, I literally stay bloated for two weeks until my period comes. So I really challenge myself of like, do I want this glass of wine or do I want this cocktail? And the answer is typically no, because I know that I'm gonna have a harder time detoxing my body for two weeks because of that that drink. So alcohol increases estrogen levels. So estrogen peaks at ovulation. So like me, naturally in my brain, I'm thinking I don't want to eat or drink something that's naturally going to increase a hormone that's already high that I don't need higher. Um, so I know a lot of women feel better by actually not drinking during ovulation. And if you think about it, ovulation is their shortest cycle phase. So it's only three to five days. So like, it's not like it's so long. Um, so that's something that I personally do. So what I do, cause I, if I want to like treat myself, I still want to feel like I can enjoy life. I will either go out and get like a seltzer water with like lemon. So you can kind of get like the fizzy feel with lemon, maybe a little cranberry juice and kind of just have a mocktail. And like, honestly, you never really miss the alcohol anyway. I mean, I'm not a huge drinker anyway, but I personally don't miss it. Um, or I will take a champagne glass at home or a stemless wine glass and I'll put some kombucha in it. So then I'm getting like a fizzy, fruity taste where I feel, still feel like I can indulge, but with alcohol, alcohol. So I really like to find ways that I am still feeling like I'm celebrating and indulging, but doing my body a service, especially at the times of the month where I don't need that. Um, so it really can just help balance your body a little bit more. So that's ovulation phase, avoid alcohol, um, unless you notice that you don't have the same, the same issue, by all means, you know, listen to your body. And then in the luteal phase, I focus, this is the time that if I'm not careful, my mood will suffer the most. So I really challenge myself to make snacks and meals that contain good mood foods. So this is what I call good mood foods. And these are foods that can actually help increase your serotonin levels, which is one of your feel good hormones. And this is something that naturally dips before we get our period. So then naturally we can feel a little bit less excited about life. We can feel a little bit more depressed. We can feel a little bit more anxious. So I know like knowing that dip, I'm like, okay, what foods can I eat that are actually going to boost my mood? And so that comes in bananas, chia seeds, dark chocolate again, and um, walnuts. So those are really high in like omega-3s that are really going to make you feel good. It's got a lot of um, healthy fats and a lot of um, ingredients that are actually going to help boost your mood. So sometimes I'll make like a chia pudding and I'll put in some walnuts and some bananas and like a little cinnamon. And then like, you're not adding sugar to it. You just are basically having the sugar of what's in the banana. Um, but it really helps. I would say literally within like 20 minutes, I'm like, wow, I just feel better. Or like, think of you have a piece or two of dark chocolate. You're like, wow, I just, I feel better. I feel um, more energetic. I feel more ready to be in life. And like, you're gonna start noticing that um, you're kind of going through similar waves as well. So I focus on good mood foods um, and then to kind of like even wrap this up going back into our period, that's when like the week before my period is when I'll start introducing beets in some shape or form. So maybe I'm juicing it, maybe I'm adding it to a smoothie and that really helps prime and prep my body for having my period so that I flow into it nicely and feel like happy and content and like not bogged down from the stupid shit that like we don't like, right? 
Um, so these are tips that can be found in our Cycle Sync Guide and Journal Book that is part of the Sync Your Life Collection. So I will leave that link below if you would like to download that. So the Sync Your Life Collection includes the Cycle Sync Guide and Journal Book. This is something that's going to give you four cheat sheets that you can start like putting on your refrigerator, putting at your desk. So you have your cycle phase like top of mind and then very specific things to test out during each of those phases. This is like literally what I did when I was learning my phase, my phases. And then I have a journal book that gives you some journal prompts so you can understand your mental shifts. So you can start working through your emotions. Um, like this is like super high valuable and like literally life-changing those journal prompts so they're very specifically matched to the things mentally that you're going to be dealing with from each each phase and it just helps calm your mind down and work through those emotions so that you can no longer feel held back in your life so includes includes that guide and then includes how to um, ditch pms forever um so if you haven't been struggling with pms these are like my top go-to tips for getting rid of pms like this is literally the first guide i ever made for balance bombshells and it is oh, it's so good so like you got how to ditch pms forever so it's no longer a problem and then you also get the complete guide to um skyrocket your work pro like get more productivity at work um so it includes those three guides so if you were to buy all of those on my website you'd spend about 121 dollars. and for this week you're going to be able to get all three of those for just 97 dollars. and this week i'm also including three free bonuses so like not only do you get those three guides but you're also going to get these three bonuses um which are also really going to help you with like understanding your cycle phases so the first one is a pocket recipe guide that contains 20 recipes that are synced to your cycle so you can actually start getting started this week of eating more um meals and snacks that are already prepared and like synced to your cycle for the nutrients that you need so like i these are my recipes that i use and i'm sharing them with you so you can totally like get started of like okay i'm in my follicular phase i'm going to test out these recipes and see how i feel so it's kind of taking our smoothie challenge to a whole new level and then it's going to also contain your sync your boo guide so you can start talking to your partner about your cycle um, this was life-changing for my husband and i um, tyler actually advocated to get this guide made so we can thank him for that and then he did edit the grid that you're going to give to your man to be like hey here's the sexy feels that i'm feeling this week here's how emotionally I'm gonna be feeling and how you can help me. Here's what I want for a date night. Here's what I want you to do like around the house and in our life. Like this is literally, this guide is having the conversation for you. So your man understands where you're at and what he can do to support you. I mean, just imagine that level of support from such a simple grid that's like already made for you. So I'm including that in this Sync Your Life collection. And then the final one is eight Instagrammable cycle phase templates. So I designed these for Instagram stories so that you can literally just plop it into your Instagram story. And it's gonna help educate your friends and family or your audience on their cycle phases too, like how we feel. And then it gives you a blank template for you to actually write in how you're feeling and like, giving you that accountability of like, here's how I'm feeling. Cause I like every woman that I've talked to wants to have these conversations more. So if you're able to share something like this within your Instagram stories, like it is really powerful to have that conversation where you're going to get so many messages from women being like, Oh my gosh, I, I do feel this way. Like, thank you so much for sharing this. And like, Hey, you feel this way during your phase. I'm feeling, I'm feeling this way. Or like, Hey, I'm not having as high energy. Like, what are you doing? Like women are going to want to know what you're doing. So the Sync Your Life collection contains all like six guides, literally giving you three for free um, for under the price of what you can buy them separately on my website. So I will drop that link below if you want to look into that. It is like literally just the starter toolkit for mastering your cycle and really understanding and, and honoring this within yourself because it is gosh like the more we can just like understand our bodies and stuff like the better we are um so if you have any questions or anything please let me know and i will be talking to you guys tomorrow i have got another hot topic coming and uh i'm excited to chat with you soon bye